What I'm feeling there is both of them. I'm feeling the up motion with the foot. Uh -huh. I'm feeling the in, the inward motion. And I feel like right now the side part of my left big toe mm -hmm. is kind of tilted down. Uh -huh. It's the only part that has pressure into the that's ground. Right. That's right. And as we'll see from the video, that's going to free up some other motions. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. So let me feel that little left foot motion. This would be like a trigger for someone, mm -hmm. right, to start freeing up the lower body. Up and in with the lead foot. Wow. Yeah, and that feels really good right yeah, off the bat. that was smashed. I want to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live view is super easy easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. All right guys, so today we're gonna to talk about how to crush your drives by letting your lower body be a little more free. Now, to my left here, we're gonna bring in, in a minute, Mr. Steve and I are gonna talk about the lower body. Obviously, we're out here um, in beautiful at El Segundo, the lakes at El Segundo, uh, just outside of Los Angeles, beautiful weather. If you guys don't know Steve yet, we're gonna put a link in the description down below. Awesome content, Steve Track Golf, awesome driver video. Steve, thanks for coming out again today, my Thank friend. Thank you so much for having awesome. me. Um, so in today's video, Steve, we're going to talk about some lower body freedom, but I yeah. think before we dive in and talk about it, um, let's do a little analyzer video here so you guys can see how some of the all-time greats allowed themselves to have some freedom with their lower body, how they used to crush their drives. Okay, so let's take a quick look here at some lower body freedom movements. A couple of old school players, one new school. Here we have Sam Snead. Um, just take a look at the lower body action during the back. So a couple of the pieces that we're going to see and focus in on is number one, we can see the lead foot motion. So that left foot um, comes off the ground, right? Lead heel comes off the ground. So up towards the left toes and rolls inward um, towards the inside part of the lead foot. We're going to notice from there that the lead leg obviously has worked inward, so the left knee towards the right or away from the target quite a bit. That lead femur has worked in and has provided a pretty healthy amount of uh, belt buckle turn there. So those three pieces that we're going to see here are three of the pieces that are key to lower body freedom. Letting the left foot come up on the toes and roll inward, letting the left knee roll in, letting the belt buckle turn during the backswing. Now if we come up and we look at someone more modern day, Let's say we look at a flip Bubba Watson here. We'll see a lot of lower body freedom as well. Another guy who hits the ball a long way, and we'll see the same sort of motion. So the lead foot, you can see the heel well up off the ground and rolled inwards. You see the lead leg here um, quite a bit in away from the target. So the lead knee in towards the trail knee and a lot of belt buckle turn there again. And then if we look at another um, old school here, Arnold Palmer, uh, shows us a pretty good example. Let's pull him up here. And you can see a lot of the lower body motions here during the back doing the same thing. You see the lead heel work up, working in on the uh, lead leg. Obviously a lot of lead leg uh, motion in, lead knee in, lots of belt buckle turn during the back swing. Those are three key movements for freedom during the lower body to help hit the ball a lot farther. All right guys, so there you saw how some of the all-time greats free up their lower body. And if you haven't seen Steve's videos, like I mentioned before, he talks about this stuff in a lot of them, some great, great videos you guys should go check out. Um, but for this video, yeah. right, um, let's talk about some of the lower body motions. Yeah. I know we talk a little bit about how the lead foot's gonna work, yeah. the leg, and how that's gonna affect mm -hmm. some of the pelvis motion. So mm -hmm. starting from the beginning, mm -hmm. if we're talking about freedom of motion with the lower body during the backswing, mm -hmm. yeah. what are some of the highlights we wanna look at? Well, some of the highlights we're gonna look at, you mentioned the foot, and we're gonna have two actions there, very specific. We're gonna have what we would call a, uh, a plantar flexion, or just lifting the heel like you're walking. Yep. Okay, so you're gonna free that up. And then the second thing you're gonna do is at the ankle is you're just gonna roll that ankle to the inside to where the only part of your shoe touching the, the ground at that point will be that pad on the inside of the big toe. Okay. And that's gonna actually help position your knee. You see his knee is breaking onto the inside towards the middle of the stance. 
and it's giving him really a com big complete weight shift over to the right foot. And what I really like, Steve, that you had said, right, is with the lead foot, mm -hmm. the feeling is twofold, up and in. That's right. Up That's right. and in. Has and to so, be both. And when, when we combine those up and in motions, it's that it kind of gets us to here, right? It absolutely forces. See, you, with those two actions, you can no longer support more than five or 10 pounds of your body weight on that left foot. Yeah, yeah. So it guarantees that 95%, 90% of your weight is now stacked into that right foot. Yeah. And you're not gonna be able to stick into your front foot as you take it back. You just can't. So now just by lifting the foot only, yeah. see, I could stand like this, you know, karate kid style. I yeah, could yeah. stand <laughs> with all my body weight on extent. But as soon as I go here, that now I got more than 10 pounds, I'll just collapse like a you know, like it. house of cards. So that in part is mm -hmm. important. And, and when you point it out, when I do that here, the only point that my foot is touching the ground, yeah. literally. So we, yeah, so we get into this really interesting phrase. We would say, you're being more mobile. So you have more mobility, Yeah. but at the same time, you also feel stable. So it's like you're swinging mobility into stability. And so I'm gonna hit one just right now with yeah. that, just that one feeling. What I'm feeling there is both of them. I'm feeling the up motion with the foot. Uh -huh. I'm feeling the in, the inward motion. And I feel like right now the side part of my left big toe mm -hmm. is kind of tilted down. Uh -huh. It's the only part that has pressure into the That's ground. Right. That's right. And as we'll see from the video, that's gonna free up some other motions. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. So let me feel that little left foot motion. This would be like a trigger for someone, mm -hmm. right? To start freeing up the lower body. Up mm -hmm. and in with the lead foot. Wow. Yeah, and that feels really good right yeah, off the bat. that was smashed. And so. Way out there. As I, that might not have quite been your 320, but that was getting closer. <laughs> so. Effective. That, yes, right. <laughs> Very effective drive. The first part of it um, being the lead foot and toe in, but then that has some kind of a chain of events that happen with my lead leg and my pelvis, right? It, it does. When You're not going to just have that in a vacuum. You're not going to be able to do this kind of by itself. Stuff. It would feel kind of unnatural. But instead, what I would be doing is now I'd be moving into my right foot and letting my hips kind of turn more, Yep. kind of keep up with my upper spine and almost have my hips and chest feel like they're turning more equally. Yeah, yeah. Rather than doing the restrict hips and trying to wind, make a big wind up idea, you're kind of letting everything turn all together. So I'm not going here, right? Right. So as I work back, um, and, I, and I love those little visuals and feels you mm -hmm. just mentioned, as my left foot comes up and in, what I feel happening is my lead knee naturally is working yes, internal. towards the middle, yeah. Towards the middle. Yeah. And so you'll kind of see like my knee and my hip are kind of a straight line. Mm -hmm. My knee's not on this side right, of my hip. Right, right. And as I do that, even from there, yes. my hips are gonna, we'll say, turn more, right, yes. during my backswing. And they might even end up tilting more. You see, now you've yeah. got, as you've made a break here at the knee and you've made a break at the ankle, meanwhile, we'd see from the, 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 uh, the down the line angle that you naturally like to straighten your knee a couple of inches, not lock it certainly, but it does move towards extension. Yep. So it ends up with your right leg is now longer than your left leg, simply because your left yeah. leg is more like in a Z position. It's just zigzagging. Yeah. So it ends up being effectively shorter. And that's gonna, in effect, it's gonna put your, your belt line and your we'll spine at a little bit more of a tilt. And so as I'm going back, and cause someone could, you know, you can reverse engineer stuff all the time, right? Oh. I'm feeling the lead foot up and in, only my yes. left big toe on the ground. My Good. left knee is working more in because of that. My belt buckle's turning more. And you're letting it just be free. And I'm letting it be free. Keep up with the turn, yeah, there. And we're gonna talk about the right hip motion a little bit mm -hmm. in a second, but as I'm working this, I could also feel consciously, if it's not, ha it shouldn't have myself, but I could feel consciously as my foot's rolling in, my knee working in. Yep. I could feel my belt buckle um, shifting, kind of working into my right yeah. you know, hip a little more. Yeah. Let me hit more, one more of that. I really like that left foot up and rolled mm -hmm. as a trigger. My lead knee's kind of getting into the right a little bit. Mm -hmm. More belt buckle turn. Let's go ahead and do one with that. Yeah, and that feels good there too. A little off balance on my five. I'm I trying to what, catch that 320, Steve. I think what most people might feel at home the first few times they do this, they might feel like this, it might feel a little reckless to them. Yeah. And they might not hit the first several shots. They might make, not make good contact the first several. But when you start turning this, your brain starts turning it right side up again, you're going to start feeling how that now that you're stepping down, 
you're gonna just feel this whole new level of power. And it creates more of a natural athletic motion during the downswing. We always say in our video, Steve, like action, reaction, cause and effect, okay. equal and opposite. And so when I watch good players, like an old Arnold Palmer, mm -hmm. and you see him go back, and he's got a little bit more forward post yeah. with it, but the pieces, where, or Sam Seed or any of those, uh, Mickey Wright, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, when they get the lead foot up in, the lead knee and the, and the belt buckle working back, then you start to see the opposite motions coming down. Yeah, there's definitely a symmetry there, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. A reaction, the, the, yeah. the reposting, the lead knee working out, the pelvis rotation. Yeah, my teacher always said that he could play equally well right and left-handed. Yeah. And he would he would actually take bets playing people left-handed when he could no longer get bets playing oh, wow. right-handed. Yeah. Because he felt the swing was symmetrical exactly like you're talking about. Yeah, and you, mm -hmm. and you get the opposite reaction coming down. And so that you're just going to, anything that's flexed, you're going to extend, and anything that's flex, extended, you're going to flex. flex. So oh here, God. your ankle's in extension, you're going to set it down, and this ankle is going to go and mirror it. It's going to roll yep. inwards yep. and lift, Yep. and you're going to only, you're going to wear out this little spot on the inside of the big toe there. On you're the way gonna through. Wear, yeah, on the way through, you're going to just wear that out. And I like to see even the, the, the trail knee when you're going through, I like to even see it cross through gotcha okay even even maybe to the point as you're stepping down and shifting over to the point where this back foot might even drag an inch got it and, and i like that too because even. it's because it's so free of weight at that point yeah it's almost just it's weight less and it's just almost drags along because there's nothing left on it and for just a simple footwork feel that could be it right it could be mm -hmm. the lead foot the left big toe on the ground coming back the right big toe on the ground coming yeah. through. I want to hit one with that. Mm -hmm. That feels pretty good too. So freedom of motion, backswing, left foot's working up and in, lead knee and belt buckle are turning, allowing myself to shift on the way back. And that one felt like I got that right toe to drag a little bit um, mm -hmm. on the way to, on the way through. So yeah, it kind of drags in reaction to when you're, you're changing directions and you're putting that, what Nicholas would call, you know, the Nicholas stomp yeah back into there and pushing back over you've got so much brace on this leg now that essentially this right leg has almost become weightless at this point yeah that we don't necessarily see with everyday golfers who aren't doing enough of this they're they tend to be more armsy up and down and their legs are a little bit quieter or just restricted somehow yeah, yeah. and so you're getting more of this and you see it's quite natural for my foot to just want to almost take a little a little drag or a little step because it's just it's just I can stand I'm standing on this leg with so much of my body weight that I could just stand there for a while so I, I even though we've been very mobile with the lower body you can see at this point how stable I've ended up I'm on one yeah. leg here but I can just kind of stand here for a while yeah I love it mm -hmm. so I think guys in terms of the take-homes from this video mm -hmm. the simple terms is let your body be free in terms mm -hmm. of hitting the ball farther with yeah. more speed right so if I want to bunt it nowhere, I can keep my lead foot down, do mm -hmm. no turn and hit it nowhere, right? Yeah. Let the lower body be free. Let the lead foot come up. Look at some of the videos we talked about and some of the, the things, the visuals here. I really like that left toe um, up and in motion with the left foot as a trigger. Mm -hmm. Let the lead knee in, let the pelvis work more and let that be sort of the ignition or the starting point to the backswing. Mm -hmm. Downswing will react, will hit the ball farther. And I think you'll, fe you'll end up feeling like you're your bunt feels, like you just said, your bunt feels will be long. Yeah, exactly. Effortless power. Yes, yes. Oh, cool, Steve. Thanks, man. All right, you're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Hey, guys, I want you to watch the videos here on the screen. More about hitting your driver better. If you guys did like this video, do us a favor. It helps us out. Click that like button down below. Click the notification bell. Please subscribe. Thank you, guys.